Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot that spot show. It's that spot bot.
come out here on Highway 43, which runs from Edmonton to the BC border, just past uh, Hythe, which is northwest of Grand Prairie. Demet is what they call it. But yeah, this side's not too bad, but the first stretch there, there's a section there. It's just been trashed for as long as I can remember. I've been in Alberta, this section, like they finally did this side after like 15 years, but it's already half destroyed, falling apart. And then they just do patch repairs back there that look, you just spill it out with a loader and then pack it down. It's, it's garbage basically. And then Highway 43 will be heading here next is the other crappiest highway in Alberta. Highway 16, 22, 43. I'm sure there's other little ones in there too, but for the most part, these are the worst and the most traveled, most overloaded highways. Some of it's not bad, some of it's rock and rob and I'm a flying out of my chair. So especially if you're loaded heavy or like when we're wheeling stuff, you gotta really know where the stuff is. And you gotta slow down for a lot of it. And a lot of the stuff's like, uh, the hillsides are all falling in towards the river. The bottom of every hill, there's a bridge or a culvert that's sloughing in, so it's a huge heave there, and it's just, it's not too bad when you're hauling, like, say, palms and mud tanks and stuff, you slow down still, but when you haul a service rig that's got its own suspension and you're chained to the frame, it kind of gives you some whiplash action because it like loads up as you're like the whole truck goes like that it kind of whips you and it could be a rough ride up front here but when you got an air ride it's not the end of the world but it's still rough you got to be careful we're just about to mayor thorpe which is just outside of whiteport which is kind of halfway and uh Keep moseying on. It looked like it was gonna, it started to snow a little bit outside of Rimby to Elsike and then it stopped. It almost got damp and got my trunk all dirty, but it'll be a miracle if we can make this trip without getting dirty. We'll see, I guess. This is some cool clouds. Summer brings nice, puffy, round, good definition clouds, which I like to watch in my videos as I'm driving down the highway.
Well, two stabs. That's one less stab than it took me with the boss. Decent, decent. scales and make sure everything's good. I might have to grab another hole, but the last time I hauled this, I did not. Well, let's just say the other one was a lot bigger than this one. It was like 70,000 pounds, so we'll chain her down. nice yeah it looks pretty sweet it looks awesome to give you guys a peek a little bit what's going on here so this is the centrifuge stand it's got two centrifugal pump separators whatever the the drilling mud and stuff comes over from here before it goes into the mud tank or it i can't remember now it takes out the debris anyways, shoots it out the side, goes in a shale bin off the side of the mud tank. So this is probably one of the bigger units. They got all sorts of different sizes for different applications. It's not that heavy really, but all the weights at the back. Gotta do some ripping. Not my eyes. Get the 
sun shining back from the bug deflector right in my eye. We go down nice and slow. This engine brake doesn't hold a fart in a wet bag. Wet paper bag. on the roof it's broken it's cracked right in half the top of the sleeper and it just vibrates I'm gonna have to like glue that together or do something with it
you'll never get back in your life. Somebody had one on the picker, a road train, and it was around the same, that was like a 2005, four, or three truck, so it was the same, I think it was a first gen ISX, so it should have been the same kind of setup, just it was a 525 or something, 550, I think it was 525, the first generation. So it should work for this application too, but if anybody knows about these power boxes and where to get one, or they got a guy in the dark corner of the black web, dark web, sorry. I haven't looked around on eBay or anything. I gotta do some more research, but that's just research. I still don't know if the boss would buy it. I'll be like, it took me an extra hour to get home from Grand Prairie pulling this thing. It's like, we better get more power. Agreed. All right. All right. We'll carry on. Talk to you later. Need to do some window cleaning. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Running low on the PT. like it all dried up where it was all wet and snowy on the way up which is good
for the scales. I'm sure they'll be open because they were closed earlier. Better make her shiny. Nice and tight. Sounds like we won't have to be to drop it off until much later, like afternoon, so that's good. It's real good. Means I'll go home and go to sleep, sleep in. Shedding some clay, drilling mud right from up there. Uh oh, could have lost the load. weather and two more oh, just outside of white court probably about 35 minutes 30 minutes Marathorpe at the co-op cart lot getting some fuel and holy shit, somebody somebody had a hard time. Just load that right over. There's the pop over there, what's left of it. Crazy. I've struggled once or twice to get in some pumps, but <laughs> Never anything like that. Never caused damage to the pumps. It's on. 
So we're gonna zip over to Clean Harbor's yard. They're gonna peel some stuff off of this thing and then we're gonna take it out to location and swap it out. And then we'll bring the other one back to their yard, I do believe, is the plan. Stay tuned. agreement to go Red Deer County. Oh, there he is. So as I was saying, yeah, the road use agreement is wrong. Directions are wrong. So now road use agreement is null and void, but it's fucking beep, but it beep, beep, beep. It's 5.56 p.m. I think it's Monday. No, it's Tuesday. No, I just want to get this over and done with, so whatever. I'm going to drop it off. I don't really care anymore because I'm tired of fucking around.
yet again. Definitely not ready to leave yet. It's still packed in there. They're still doing stuff. I guess they're moving tomorrow. They're cleaning up stuff right now. So he's like, oh, somebody else can bring it tomorrow during the rig move. I'm like, sure. Suits me just fine. I got enough footage to suffice a video, so I don't need to hang out anymore. I'll just, 6.30. Wedge shop, park, go home, have dinner. I haven't had a decent meal and can't remember. Thanks for watching. And uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tomorrow, if you guys are interested, going out to disassemble that tank farm. What was it, six tanks? And uh, a couple mats. And then supposedly the following day after that, We'll haul that Derek again. Maybe this time I could make a little bit better footage because I was so rushed. And I wanted to use my 360 camera on the picker, but the batteries were dead. So. Snafu, we'll see. See what I can come up with, plan for that, so. Just see you guys later. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.